but don't make confusion. There are some good priests. But they did it in the name of Jesus. Now you have the result. They weep us too much. Now, you know, you put your dam automatically. I don't know if Jesus is white. Look at this stupid guy. With, with the Anglican Archbishop. You know, this stupid guy is the new president of Zambia. That's why Africa is in trouble. A president, you put your knees down before an uh, archbishop. This guy must be, I want to slap him. <laughs> president of an African country. One of the richest countries of Africa. Look at this stupid head of state. So don't be surprised to see Africa down. Because they cannot accept a man like me being in power. I cannot accept this kind of thing. Can you imagine the president of France doing this before a black man? This guy is the first African American who went back to Africa. His name is George Washington Williams. He was the first man to reveal what happened in the Congo. King Leopold II of Belgium tried to corrupt him because he was an African citizen, an American citizen, I'm sorry. He died in England in 1849. This is me before his grave in Blackpool in England. George Washington William, Afro-American historian, 1849-1891, in Blackpool. Who is this? This is the first pastor, African-American pastor. They sent him to Africa to teach religion because the African had a bad souvenir of the white. So they charged a black man to do the job. But this guy was very sensitive because he was an African American. When he came to Africa, he observed this picture. I found it in the United States in the city of Louisville, Kentucky, because George uh, William Shepard, the Reverend, uh, Reverend William Shepard, was born in Louisville. He died there in uh, 1925. So he lived, he lived many archives. Archives, I'm sorry. So look, this is style. This is gold. Bronze. This is a written language, a sculpture. African identity card. This is the king of the Cuba. This pe people never been defeated. It was Reverend William Shepard who found them in the bush. The breed, the the Belgian could not find them. They never been defeated. This is the last resistance we call him Congolese Nelson Mandela because they jailed him 30 years in prison by the Belgian. We call him Mfumu Simon Kimbangu. I have a lot of things. This is the road of the slave in the city of Wida in Benin. 
I was in Wida to ask the people to teach me history. And as they can explain you what's happened. Most of the people who went to Brazil, they come from Wida. This is my first son when he was a child, an army of soldiers. 200,000 soldiers, they faced the French. They fought against the French. Women in Africa. We send our women to fight them because they could not fight with us. So this is the door of non-return. This is the last place where the slave, when you cross this place, it was bye-bye Africa. By force. This is African version of history. I could not subtitle because I didn't have enough time. I am sorry. I need to come back. Now we are going to Gonvier. Gonvier was built on the river. In the river, I'm sorry. This is my wife. We are going to visit the city of Gonvier. It is in the river. Because some our ancestors wanted, you see how big is the city. This is a form of resistance. Because it was very difficult for the slavers to take people in the water. In this village, children learn to swim before to walk. We didn't have fire weapons, so we use all kinds of strategy to survive. You have 100, uh, 100,000 people who live in Gambia till today. And people are afraid till today to be captured by the white people. When a white man goes to Gambia, people are afraid. They call it post-slave trauma. This village is bigger than St. Kitts and Nevis, both. 100,000 people still live there. You know, I risk my life to get proofs. I always travel with my family. And you know, Pikney don't know how to swim. It's a very big, big village. Gonvier. This is the city of Alada in Benin. This is the place where they took the father of Toussaint Louverture, the Haitian revolutionary. So this is a tribute, a monument in memory of Toussaint Louverture because his father was a king. So they accused black African because they said that we sold. How a king, if you sell, you cannot be captured. This is a place where they took the father of Toussaint Louverture. His name was Gaou Genou. Let's go to H. They call it the ceremony of Boakaimo. It was a voodoo ritual. I don't know how to use. 
Yeah, okay. This is the place where they, Toussaint Louverture died in France, in prison in 1903. They call it Fort de Joux in France. I will show you what they did to the last resistance in Benin. The city is named Abomey. This is the last king of the Daomi kingdom. Now it's Benin, but it's formerly known as Daomi, West Africa. This is the last king we fought the French. His name is King Beanza. His motto was, je n'accepterai jamais de signer aucun traité susceptible d'aliéner l'indépendance de la terre de mes aïeux. I will never give up the sovereignty of my kingdom, I am ready to die. That's why it, what he said to the French when they defeated his last battalion. You know what he did? He killed his own mother to save her from rape. Because it's painful for a human being to see his mother raping by the slavers, so he decided to kill his mother to save her from rape. And he organized royal funeral to his mother because the game was over. They took him to Martinique. People in Martinique don't know that King Béanzin, they took him to Martinique in a fortress called Fort Tartanson. People don't know it in Martinique. The fort is still there. This will be the end. I got a lot of pictures, but I have no time. You have to blame this lady. <laughs> because I'm ready to spend the rest of my life to show you. You have to ask to general governor. <laughs> governor general. Governor General? Yes. Yeah, I apologize. Sorry for my English. <coughs> let's go, let's go. It's the end. It's the end. You'll see what's happened to the traitor. One of the traitor, you know, they burn the African resistant. This is General Amede Dodds. They burn our ancestor alive. I found it in a castle in France, in the city of Nantes. You have the witness of General Dodds. So this is the place where they took King Bernzen with his family in Foster Tanson in Martinique. People don't know it. You can recognize this kind of chair. You find it in the West Indies. Yeah. Rocking chair. So they when stop it. They French, they feel it because King Beanza had a bad influence on the Martinique people of Martinique. So they send him back to Algeria where he died. They severed the African king's sword. He died in 1945. They took back his body, his rights in Benin. I will have to show you five minutes of Ethiopian resistance. Five minutes and I will stop. I will like to show you the resistance in Ethiopia, how we defeated the Italian. One hour is not enough. OK, now watch what's happened in Ethiopia. They drop it, the Italian drop it. 1,000 bombs of two tons. One percent of the bomb could erase all the island of St. Kitts and Nevis. Look at them. Look at in Ethiopia in 1935. 10 million people died in Ethiopia to save the country. And Ethiopia is the only country who never been colonized. 
Look at the king. They use plane, tanks, all kind of weapons. We fought them with fate. Look at the king fighting the Italian. Now it's enough. Thank you very much for listening to me. I am real sorry, I wanted to show you more, but we, not, we haven't enough time. I'm ready to come anytime. I feel at home. Thank you, it's my home. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. I believe it was an excellent presentation.